Today, we will, I will be teaching about the distributed property of multiplication. So, I'm going to teach you three ways. The first way would be two one-digit numbers, and the second one would be one one-digit number, and the second number would be a double-digit number. The last one would be hard, but it would be a double digit number times a double digit number. So, the first one, an example, would be three and nine. And you could split the nine into five and four. So, three times nine equals three times five plus three times four. Now three times five is 15, and three times four is 12. Now 15 plus 12 is 27. The answer for three times nine would be 27. For the second one, an example would be three times 15. Now, we, now, again, we would break up the 15 into 10 and 5. Now, 3 times 15 equals 3 times 10 plus 3 times 5. Now, 3 times 10 is equal to 30. 3 times 5 is 15. Now, 30 plus 15 equals 45. So the answer for 3 times 15 would be 45. For the last one, 23 times 15. Now, you break apart 23 into 20 and 3. And multiply that by breaking up the ten, the fifteen into ten and five. Now, first you take that twenty and you multiply that by ten, and then again you multiply the twenty by the five. Now, twenty times ten and twenty times five, we can solve that out. Twenty times ten equals 100. I mean, 200. Now, 20 times 5 is 100. Now, 20 to 200 plus 100 would equal 300. Now, so for this one would be 300, but there's another one, and, and we have left out with 3. So now we do 3 and 10 and 3 and 5. 3 times 10 and 3 times 5. Now what we do is 3 times 10 is 30 and 30 plus 15 would equal 45. Now 300 plus 45 equals 345. And those are three ways how to solve the distributive property and three ways to use the distrib distributive property in different ways. Thank you for watching.